I'm a retired Army Colonel, 26 years. Uh, I was stationed down in Fort Bragg, built a house over uh, in Fayetteville. <clears throat> I know I know North Carolina. Moved down here because my daughter loved going to NC State, son-in-law, and about two-thirds of my family lives here in, in North Carolina. I, I may be an Army veteran, 26 years. Uh, I flew Apaches out of Fort Bragg, uh, commanded overseas, took them into Bosnia back to make the peace and then, <coughs> and then, and then be a peace uh, keeper. Um, served several tours at the Pentagon, the Army, Joint Chiefs of Staff. I served two presidents at the White House. I, I know DC. I will be your representative. I will probably tick off a lot of Democrats. That's my job as a Republican, okay? But I'm telling you, there's a bunch of Republicans that are gonna like Alan Swain. Because if it isn't good for this region, if it isn't good for this district, if it isn't good for the state of North Carolina, I'm not gonna vote that way. I believe in peace through strength. I want a strong military. I'm retired military. You think, well, well how could you even say this? But it needs to be a military we can afford. Uh, just was brought up a little while ago. We are spending money like drunken sailors up in Washington, D.C. Inflation is going through the roof. This administration doesn't care about spending our money and how fast they can print it. You look at what's going on right now, <clears throat> we're, we're spending more money at the gas pump. Everything for our cost of goods is off the charts. We've given up our energy independence. It's in the ground. There's talk that we have 431 years of coal to run this nation. 235 years of uh, natural gas available to us. Our job is to have a representative that's going to go up and fight and make sure that doesn't happen. Whether it's inflation, <clears throat> whether it's immigration, we got a problem at the border. We've got a president who's not doing his job, his oath of office, and that's to defend this nation. <clears throat> if you elect me in the primary to be your representative and then win in November of next year, I will hold this administration, this president accountable for not upholding his oath to our Constitution. If you don't believe that there was a facade all last year trying to get rid of President Trump with two false impeachments, everything this current president is doing today is right up the alley for an impeachment. I will help champion that cause if you vote for me. Because that's what we need. We need fighters from this region, from this state, and I'm praying that there are other candidates, just like Alan Swain, that want to go represent and fight for our country. I would appreciate your vote on March 8th. Thank you.